the bill for part 3 of the 7 bit display timer just want to say that the last video was cut short because it was way too long so I'll be picking up where that left off so let's just crack on with this video let's just put one there see if it goes up to there yeah it goes up to there right so can put that dust back actually we don't need this in so also we don't need this in so I'm just optimizing this a bit just so that we don't have a load of unnecessary space wasted so um, what's happening here? Ah, no. ah, that's it. Oh, I realise why I've done that. So, if we do this, that might fix that. And we don't need to have that anymore. <coughs> and I apologise if this is getting a bit too tedious. <coughs> so you just wanna actually no no it's this side isn't it so you wanna do this again actually lower this a bit so you can get it down to ground level so I'll just uh, count up 16 So this is where we need our repair, and it should go the extra mile. Oh no, not like that, that is bad. <laughs> so, also I forgot to mention that there is a repair in each one of these. So, what we want to do just so that that doesn't mess anything up is you wanna make this into one tick dollar and that should sort itself out pretty neatly so now all we need to do is do the oh, what what oh man it's not properly working I don't think maybe if, if I put a block there no oh, no if I put just there Oh right, it's something else that's powering it. This could be a bit awkward. I'll just uh, reload this. What? I, I have absolutely no idea what's going on there. Those can go back in. actually try and spend a while trying to work this out and I'll see you in a minute when I've done that
Alright, so I figured out this issue. What was going wrong is there was a piece of dust here for some reason. Don't know how that was. Oh, ah, I don't know how that was affecting it by anywhere, but you know, there's always something that goes wrong in there. So. Uh, I think I need to add an inverter here, don't I? Yeah, I'll just add that right here. <coughs> so, uh, that's working fine. Uh, and now what's going on? It's this, which is malfunctioning. And if I put it up there, that should solve it. Right, so now is the time to see whether this is working or not. So, where's the middle part again? Ah, uh, here. So, basically, I'm just following the trail to see what torch I need to remove, and it is this one. Oh, let's get rid of that. So now, if we test this, it should work pretty well. What? Uh, Alright, I don't know why this is doing this. Uh, I hate when stuff like this happens. where it's gone wrong. So if I put a block there and put this redstone over there that should work. Alright so how it works so, um, now I need to find out why this isn't activated. Uh, 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 I just need to put that here. And it should all be working now. Right. <sighs> so that's working. Now is the final stage. You just want to go along here, and what I'll do real quick is I'll add a button here just so it gives off a really short input and not like a massive one. So, I want to add a button here, and you want to go along here and like find out which torches you need to put on so so for nine uh, one minute we want to put this 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 and this on so that would be here and 
also here and then also here and here so just trying to follow it down here Uh, this movie, I think. And the top one is from there. So, one there. So, you can experiment with this, and unfortunately, this is the end of the video. And I'll see you later. And I forgot to add that in, but you know, you can add that in whatever you want. So, see you.